Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade, after the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man, wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade... Let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Oh! <laughs> 
Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. 
Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. Fair winds to you, Offworld. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? The winds still taste of his fortune, then. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaklu argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day.
No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of Isis. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The bomber is out of control! I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. Or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beasts grow more agitated by the day. As... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. It... Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please. Won't you help us? My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, 
he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare, but I have a feeling you may come across one. Ask someone who cares about that. Isis has suffered for many years. The strongest of us are accustomed to it now. Dashiell recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiell said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, Beast Cages are filling up the streets of Isis. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... disagreements. That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city, and for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferrosteel plates. Somehow the Beast Riders figured out how to tame them years ago. That's a long story. Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. It protected us from the dangerous beast that, for ages, our worst criminals were... They learned how to tame the native beast. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen, and finally there was peace between our people. It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Certainly, things... Stay out of trouble. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaklu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. 
The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. Unnecessary observation. You are eliminating many of us Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. Kabwana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yo. Kavadumba munsuru ku plagliya wa. Moga chi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo grab. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinama. Kabwana bota ayuka. Kavadumba munsuru ku plagliya. Kawana bota. Fereki mangra do no kohe. Taracho mosin. Kawana bota. On dollar no saka. Drum. Dovre kun mili wosa slima. Drabi nu koso baramwe. Mas. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Taracho mosin. Kavadumba munsuru ku. Dawancha mori kun. Tonghi te mosi. Kawana bota ayu kawana bota The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, offworlder. I am Captain Bastuko. I have served loyally in the Andoran military for 20 years. Twenty years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian Wars, right? I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world, and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for ten years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. Such of you could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. The wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are worthy of it. General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. The wall is the... I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. 
My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. I received an order, and I carried it out. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. I'm the one in charge here, Offworlder. If you try to get past me, then you'll have the entire Isis garrison on you in seconds. Tinachara, Granacha, Ganoiso, Totorando Kran, Terando Nosh, we want a hunter, Rakichi Sa, Donacinto, Norokipa, Rakichi Sa, Dakosha, Nichotono, Punta Chacorso, Jim Karantaka, Chono. Automated droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components. No refunds and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? Certainly. Isis is the only city on the planet on. That information is. Res Sorry, my. Sorry, my. Certainly. Reinitializing complete. 1BAD was built and programmed by Tolos the Trader. 1BAD was built to buy droid components for below base cost value and sell components based on most favorable market conditions. Dagon Ken's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. 
It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? <sighs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. Mulera Dovrei cu... Ta come ta, che blai ia giustin. We saw Mogo Dosi Shabadent Bram Tabani Sochu. Duck Yatuka Uwanrika Chotin Wani. Oh. Wow. 